स्टूडेंट्स कुछ बात करेंगे अबाउट द ब्लूटूथ डिवाइस स्टूडेंट्स एवरी सिंगल ब्लूटूथ केपेबल डिवाइस हैज गॉट अ बेल्ट इन शॉर्ट रेंज ट्रांसमीटर एंड दिस ट्रांसमीटर इज वॉट इट यूज टू ट्रांसमिट बाय बाय एक्टिंग एज अ पार्ट ऑफ द पीक यूनिट स्टूडेंट्स द करंट डेटा रेट दैट इज सपोर्टेड इन द ब्लूटूथ पीकोनेट और अ स्कैटोनेट इज वन मेगा बिट्स पर सेकेंड एट अ फ्रीक्वेंसी ऑफ टू पॉइंट फोर गीगा हर्ट्स स्टूडेंट्स याद कीजिएगा हम लोगों ने एट ओ टू डॉट इलेवन बी वायरलेस प्लान की डिस्कशन में वी वेंट थ्रू दिस पर्टिकुलर फ्रीक्वेंसी एंड वी वी टोल्ड यू दैट एट ओ टू डॉट इलेवन बी वायरलेस प्लान इट एक्चुअली ऑपरेट्स एट अ फ्रीक्वेंसी ऑफ टू पॉइंट फोर गीगा हर्ट्स सो स्टूडेंट्स बिकॉज ब्लूटूथ वर्क एट द सेम फ्रीक्वेंसी देर इज अ पोटेंशियल कॉन्फ्लिक्ट बिटवीन दीज टू फ्रीक्वेंसी सो इफ दे आर दे आर वर्किंग क्लोज टू इच अदर यू मे फेस सम इश्यूज बिकॉज देर इज गोइंग टू बी इंटरफेरेंस बिटवीन द टू डिवाइस वन पार्ट ऑफ द एट टू डॉट इलेवन बी वायरलेस लैन द अदर पार्ट ऑफ द ब्लूटूथ बोथ वर्किंग एट द सेम फ्रीक्वेंसी एंड दे कैन इंटरफेयर बिकॉज दे आर वर्किंग इन द सेम फ्रीक्वेंसी बैंड स्टूडेंट्स विल टॉक अबाउट द ब्लूटूथ लेयर्स ब्लूटूथ इट एक्चुअली इट डिफाइन्स मल्टीपल लेयर्स दे आर नॉट नेली equal to the internet uh, protocol suite the tcp ip or the osi layers that uh, you have gone through but um, one of the layers in there which is l2 cap um, we'll talk about that and because it is an equivalent of our llc layer in the um, in the data link um, equivalent of a tcp ip protocol suite or an osi model slide pe chalte hain and we'll have a look at the different layers that make up the bluetooth protocol stack so students um, as you can see there are different a uh, layer is not exactly equivalent to what we have gone through in the tcp ip protocol suite the first layer or the bottom one is called the radio layer so that's essentially equivalent to your physical layer which is used as a uh, as a transmission medium bluetooth of course uses uh, air as a transmission medium so that's that then you have got the baseband layer as is is going to be present in any wireless application of such sort in a wireless lan area um, then you have got then you have got data and profiles and applications on top and then you have got some audio um vertical stacks and control stacks as well so it's in the middle somewhere out there you can see the l2 cap layer this is called the logic link control and adaptation protocol so this this um l2 out here actually stands for a double l so logic link control um logic link control and adaptation protocol layer so it's this is um equivalent to our llc sub layer in our lan technologies that we that we went through so logic link control Uh, layer that we spoke about or students is particular layer ka um, the function of this l2 cap layer um, is all our conventional data link layer functions that we have gone through they they are they are actually performed at this particular layer students um, multiplexing is is done here we have gone through multiplexing in uh, in a in, in a lot of detail um, we do the segmentation here um, at the sending end um we do the segmentation here at the receiving end this layer takes part in the um, reassembly as well so multiplexing segmentation reassembly um and then you will be introduced to some of the concept of quality of service or cos which are taken care of um at this l2 cap layer as well so since uh, the l2 cap data packet format um we have got a uh, 16 bit a uh, 16 bit length field so two bytes out here the first one and that defines the um the length of the data um actual data that we are carrying um students we can have a maximum of 65535 bytes in a l2 cap data that we are using in the in this bluetooth technology and uh, and and then you have got a channel id um field of two bytes again 16 bits and it defines a uh, the unique identifier for the virtual channel that is created at this particular level for the bluetooth communication of students maine aapko bataya tha ki um, this particular technology of of bluetooth it is a wireless lan technology so it basically uses um, a particular variant of tdma time division multiple access aur is variant ko hum bolte hain um, tdd which means um, time division duplex so it uses um tdd time division duplex time division multiple access technology uh, and it's a it's a kind of a half duplex communication um in this particular case the sender and the receiver can both send and receive both 
parties that there are talking primary and secondary they can send and receive but not at the same time so students um, first type of single secondary communications it's called single secondary because we have got the simplest forms in which we have got one primary and one secondary so a single secondary communication ke case mein, while using tdd tdma the primary can send and receive as well and the secondary can send and receive as well but not at the same time so what we do is we this is a the case of a piconet in which we have got one secondary the tdma operation it's it's very simple the time is divided into slots of 625 microseconds each so your one one time slot that you have got out here it is um, 625 microseconds each as you can see one particular um, packet out here the l2 cap or or the the bluetooth frame it, it's taking 366 milliseconds in that uh, in one hop and um, the key to note is the 625 uh, microseconds time slot the even time slots are used by the primary to send the data to secondary so this first one zero two um, four, all of this is used by the primary to send the data to secondary, and then you've got the secondary which is transmitting the data in the odd um, time slots. So, slot zero primary will send, and secondary will just listen or receive. Um, and the, in, in slot one, the secondary sends and primary uh, receives, and this cycle is is uh, is actually sh what is shown in your slide. So then you have got the multi multiple to secondary communication, and and in this case, because you have got multiple secondaries, the the communication is a little more detailed in this particular case. The primary uses the even numbered slots in this case, but a secondary only sends in the next odd number slot if the packet in the previous slot uh, it has it is addressed to that particular secondary. So students, first case में देखिएगा ये जो primary है it is sending in the even number slots and the packet is addressed to secondary number one. So in the next slot, only secondary number one can communicate. In the next case, you can see this particular uh, communication is addressed to secondary number two. So in the next one, secondary one will stay quiet, but you have got your secondary two, which is, which is going to be communicating in this um, next odd slot. And students, this is how we actually do the TDMA or time division duplex TDMA um, communication in the case of Bluetooth.